Most people in America are familiar with the little girl who lies. The little girl who lies is the one who has chosen the wrong life partner time and time again. And as a result, her life and her family's jobs and employment and income has gone down the drain. But when she meets someone who really cares for her, she takes advantage of him completely. She receives all kind of work from him, all kind of service from him, and then they spend so much time together, private time alone, that he falls in love. And when that happens, then she turns on him, calls police, and calls it everything but what it was. She then moves on to another player, but throughout the time, she recognizes that he is still wooing her. And she enjoys that up until the time that some asshole from the force decides to profile her and abuse her. In life, we have moments of time to say, well, justice served, but it hasn't been. And then there are moments of time to recognize that a woman officer named Ellison has crossed the state line from Fishers to another community to abuse a man that she has no rights to. And openly, she's dyed her hair and she's changed her look, she's gained some weight, but bottom line, she is a predator, a sexual predator for the police who is sexualizing a human being's body, interfering with it in her life based on her version of God, and openly, she'll be dead very soon in a little bit of time with COVID and other illness that the Lord will dole out on her. But a man's body, much like a woman's body, is their own. And bald-headed officers who like to drive up on homeless people, pretending that at that moment of time, with their wife in the passenger seat and their child or whoever in the back seat, are not soliciting me and not lying to me, are foolish. Because the Lord God above sees everything, sees all, and at some point, you might just lose that pretty little ditty nurse of yours to COVID. In America, we have rights. But there are groups of people flourishing throughout America who don't think that you or I have any rights to our personhood, our paperwork, our property, our possessions, or the purchasing of things like food. Can you imagine an America that's becoming like the Hunger Games? An America that's becoming like Running Man? An America that's becoming a predatory, game-oriented nation because immoral and illegal people from Muslim countries, Korean countries, Chinese countries, and others, and I'm being told by God, don't say that, but is what it feels like, and Mexicans think that American citizens are theirs for the taking. In America, we have rights, and the religious right thinks not so, that they have the right to sexualize our bodies, they have the right to humanize us, or dehumanize us, and they have the right to rape us from our rights. I have my own siblings, and my own siblings betrayed me and did that to me, and openly they're immoral. And if I claim incest, would anybody care? But the reality is, no, they'll just lie and continue their flair. I even have a brother that wanted to be inappropriate with my body, and the answer was no. So at this time, my answer to you motherfucking shitbags, if you have to do this in the night, you're still cowards, you know? Because not one of you has the lawful right to walk up to me and say a fucking thing. And while you might do it, you absolutely know that your network will kill you for your lie. Because eventually they will turn on you like they do on the black children of communities, the bodies and Bonnies and Clyde, that drive through our shops and go to the dollar store and break glass in the streets and think they're so cool. But at some point, the world is going to catch up to you in your immoral and immature behavior. And at that point, you recognize God.